Welcome back, my friends. It is time for you and for me to get our minds aligned with the truth of God. And I wanted to remind you that I'm periodically publishing Pray Together episodes where we can pray in the moment together for the needs of other Morning Mindset listeners. Maybe one of those people who needs prayer is you. Please submit your prayer requests to this email address, prayer at carriegreen.com. And let us know if you would like us to use your prayer request on an episode of the podcast. And if so, whether we should use your name or not. We're happy to make those anonymous if need be. And we are looking at 2 Peter chapter number 1. And we are getting into a section where Peter is going to begin describing how he came about the knowledge of Jesus Christ that he had. Now, that's interesting, isn't it? Because we put a lot of value in proof for things. That's how our court system is based, is on the proof of evidence. That's how testimonies in court happen. That's oftentimes what you hear in journalistic sort of radio shows or television programs, is this search for proof, a search for facts and figures and the things that go behind the ability that we have to believe. And belief is really at the core of the Christian faith, isn't it? There is a sense in which we want some proof. We want to see that the things that are being told to us are true. And in the case of Peter, we know from the gospel accounts, Peter is one of the 12 disciples who walked with Jesus for those three and a half-ish years that Jesus was carrying out his public ministry on the planet. And so listening to what Peter has to say is of great value. And Peter, in teaching the recipients of this letter, takes a moment here in verse number 16 of chapter 1 to describe his experience and why he believes what he has to say to them is worth listening to. Now let's read in verse number 16. He says, For we did not follow cleverly devised myths, when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Now stop there for a moment and just make sure you're clear on what Peter's saying. He's basically saying, we didn't make this up and we weren't following some made up thing that someone else gave to us when we told you about Jesus Christ. In fact, the things we told you about that witness to his power and the amazement of who he was and what he did while he was here are things we witnessed for ourselves. And notice the phrase there at the end of verse 16 that Peter uses. He says, we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Now, majesty is a big word, and it's not one that we use a lot in our culture. Majesty means something glorious, something amazing and big and supernatural, perhaps, that can be witnessed in a tangible way. And Peter goes on to describe what that was like and when he's pointing to that he saw this majesty. In verse 17, he says, for when he received, now he being Jesus, for when he received honor and glory from God the Father, and the voice was born to him by the majestic glory, saying, This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this very voice born from heaven, for we were with him on the holy mountain. Now stop for a moment. What is Peter referring to? Well, it's very clear he's referring back to the account we find in Matthew chapter 17, where Peter and James and John went up on a mountain with Jesus. And while he was there, it says Jesus was transfigured or transformed into a glowing appearance. And Moses and Elijah joined them. And Peter saw Jesus transformed into his heavenly state as the eternal God. And so he's saying, we saw these things. I'm explaining it to you because I was there. My friends, do you realize we have a faith that is that tangible, that reliable. Be encouraged in that today. Be encouraged that the God of gods, the King of kings is your Lord today, and he is with you. Hey, check the description of this episode for all the information about our morning mindset meetup in the Dallas-Fort Worth area that's coming soon. And join me again tomorrow.